Hi, welcome to our tutorial on how to set up accounting codes on the copier series 123, 128, and 133 family. As you walk up in front of the machine, you should see the copy screen already open and ready to go. But if you look over here to the numeric keypad, we have a button that says login slash out. What we need to do, do is go here first. So I'll press that button. It's going to ask for a code. The default system administrator code is five ones, one, 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 one. We'll hit that and we'll hit confirm. Then we have two buttons that we uh, can go into. So we're going to go to system settings. And there's a button over to the left called login setup slash autotron administration, which we'll go to next. Okay, we've got several options here. We've got check, create user accounts, uh, as well as uh, audit, login sla setup slash Auditron mode. Uh, that's important. Uh, reset user accounts. Uh, those three buttons are pretty much the uh, most useful ones. So we'll start by going to uh, create check user accounts and what you'll see is that you can enter in up to 500 uh, of these accounts. Uh, let's start with the first one here. Uh, we've got, uh, we'll select the first one, it's already highlighted and we'll hit create slash delete and it says enter user ID. So this is the pin code that you want to associate that person for let's say for example uh, 1234 is what we want to use uh, so we'll do 1234 and if you wanted to you can use alphanumeric characters as well but most uh, most folks want to use the uh, just the numeric so we'll hit save and we've got one more field that we want to use as well that's the username the username is what will be listed so you can identify how many copies that person has done because user ID is pretty much irrelevant back in the old days you only had the two options or I'm sorry the one option and that's the pin code and you would just write down who that person is well now you can uh, identify them better by hitting username so we'll hit that and then we'll just per put the person's name in let's say for example that person's name is Don we'll hit the shift key and then we'll hit the letter D and then we'll hit the shift key again and put in A W N and hit save now if you want to uh, restrict their usage let's say for example um, they can only do a thousand copies a month then you would hit account limit and you would hit account limit again and then you could just associate over here in the numeric keypad how many copies uh, they're limited to um, otherwise if you're just tracking this is irrelevant so user ID username and then we hit close and it creates that person so we'll go down to the next option that says not in use and hit create delete uh, user ID let's say for example we'll put in uh, one one two two three three what is the pin code that they want to use so we'll put that in we'll hit save we'll hit username and let's put in for example Tony so I'm gonna hit the shift key letter T, toggle the shift key back, O, N, Y, and hit save. No limits, I'm not worried about that. And don't worry about password, that's too much information that you would want to put in already. Close. Now that person's added. Okay, so now let's hit close again and look at some other buttons as well on this screen. Let's refresh uh, what we've learned so far. I'm going to start back from the beginning here. You walk up in front of the machine. You look to the right of the numeric keypad, hit login slash out. The code is 11111. So we're going to hit that and confirm. System settings 
and then this login setup slash autotron administration. Okay, so so far we've learned how to create uh, and delete user accounts, which is that button check, uh, create check user accounts. There, there they are. If I wanted to delete, let's say somebody, I can highlight their name, hit the create create slash delete, and just hit reset account. Now there's something useful here too. There's a reset total impressions. This is uh, a this is where you can clear how many they've done right back to zero so you can start from scratch for example if you're doing a monthly report and you don't want to have to calculate the cost you can come here and reset that now if you've got about let's say 20 codes in you wouldn't want to go in one at a time to do that well that's why we've got a reset user account button to hit so that instead of going through one at a time you could say total impressions and hit reset. And this is asking the total impressions made by all users, including the system administrator, will be reset. Are you sure? So they say yes, and that means that all their counts are cleared back to zero. Again, this is this is after you've printed your report, you're ready to go back from scratch you would just simply come into the administration, uh, Autotron administration button and you would just go to reset user accounts, hit total impressions, and then hit reset, and then yes. Now you can add and delete codes all day long and not have to worry about Autotron being turned on. But you want to go ahead first and set up your account, and then when you're ready, it's time to turn in turn on uh, Autotron. So here's how you turn on Autotron. We're going to hit login slash out. We're going to punch in the five ones. We're going to go to confirm. We're going to go to system settings. Login setup slash Autotron administration. Now remember I told you that there were three buttons that are useful, the create, check, user accounts, the reset use, user accounts. Now here's the last one, login setup slash Autotron mode. We're going to go here. Now what you're going to see is probably a little bit different uh, because you have a standalone copier. But what's gonna, what you're going to see is that it's turned off and that we have to go to lo local machine access and we're going to go to Autotron mode. You'll only see copy service, which will be turned off. So we want to go ahead and turn that on and then hit save. Save, close, exit, and it's going to reboot. Okay, now it's time uh, that we print out a report of who's been doing what. And this is done just a little differently than what we've been going before, but uh, we're having to log in the same way. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the right. We're going to hit the log in slash out button again. Punch in five ones. One, 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 one. Confirm. And then we're going to go to user mode. Now when you do this, it's just going to take you back to the copy screen. But we're actually logged in as system administrator and that gives us uh, some some buttons that we wouldn't be able to see if we weren't logged in. And that is under this machine status button. So after you hit user mode, we're going to go to machine status. And then on this uh, screen right here, we're going to go to the second tab, billing meter slash print report. And we're going to hit the uh, print, report slash, print report slash list and Autotron administration. And we're going to go to Autotron report copy. Now you can you can select which counts you want to print. You would just be easier just to hit the select all button and then hit start. And then the report will look just like this. So we've got the two people so far, Don and Tony, and their user ID, and it says their limit and their total impressions. Uh, the, t Don's done six, Tony's done four. When anybody walks up in front of the machine, it will say on the screen, press log in slash out button and enter user details. So that means that if I were to walk up now and try to make a copy, 
and I said I wanted three. When I hit start, it's not going to let me. So, the steps for anybody to make a copy is that they have to hit the first button here, log in slash out, every time, punch in their code using the numeric keypad, hit confirm, and then they'll be logged in. When they walk away from the machine and the machine is idle, it will reset it and log that person out. If you'd like, if they want to uh, log out themselves, they can hit this clear all button, uh, I'm sorry, the log in slash out button again, and then hit cancel, and that will log them out. You'll know it because it says right here, press log in slash out button and enter user details. Again, you walk up, hit log in slash out, put in their code, confirm, make the copies. If they want to force themselves out, they just hit the log in slash out button, hit cancel, and then you're ready.